Rachel's dream. What is up guys, Juicy here, and welcome back to another video on the Chameleon Craft server. Oh my god guys, it has been so long. It may not seem it, but it feels like so long since I've recorded on this, ep on this episode, on this uh, server. It's, well technically it was yesterday because I recorded the um, Amber Mining uh, episode, but everything I've filmed has either been over a course of two days or a bit pre-recorded, things like that. Um, Basically, what I've been doing, I've been getting into the habit of recording two episodes one day, then recording, I'm um, uploading one every day, which you can see how that might be a problem. I mean, at the time of recording, I've got two episodes to upload, um, and also my uploads are going even slower now, seeing as UHC is happening, um, being uploaded, which uh, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out already. But there's a lot of stuff that happened around in my base that I need to show you all. First one, first things first, is this massive Herobrine head that was placed here by uh, Crack and Brang, I believe. This is another birthday prank. Hello, Mr. Gao, how are you doing? Uh, happy B Day from Herobrine. Happy birthday, give us juice. Well, uh, you know, I could give you juice, but uh, we'll have to do that off camera. And Facebook, oh my god, what the hell? I'm terribly sorry if you looked at your Facebook then. Um, thing is, we have a lot of cows over here now. I don't know why I said thing is, I was going to say something else, but this is more important. And Excuse me, sir. Uh, sir? Sir, could you please get back in the... Fuck, fuck, get in the fuck. Ah, there we go. Look at that. We've got cows because we need leather and beef. Beef! Uh, steak. Um, because we're going to be making a storage room. Which, actually, no, we're not making it. We've already made it. And hello, Mr. Wolf. We have Terrence. Uh, I don't know a name for you yet. Probably just going to call you Blue because Andrew gave you a blue collar and this is their baby. Uh, so we've already got a storage room, and I want to basically move everything in, because everything is so crowded over there. We've got like six double chests of everything that's not sorted. But here it is. Here is the storage room. It goes down, it follows the spiral staircase pattern, and before I show you, I'm not I'm gonna, I'm not going to lie to you, I am quite proud of it. And I didn't copy it from any designs, however, I did look at... Oh, you saw a bit of it. I did uh, kind of look at a design and get an idea for it, but here we go. Look at this, it's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a dungeon, which I was going for, like a dungeon or a really kind of evil basement or something like that. Maybe from uh, Breaking Bad, you know, where they kill the guy. <gasps> Spoilers. Um, but you may be wondering what these buttons are for. They're just aesthetics, you know. Uh, <laughs> aesthetics. They're not really. Uh, all these are aesthetics. However, these two activate a little uh, uh, piston door, which reveals the chest, which I'm going to put diamonds and stuff in. <laughs> I did have these buttons here, then it looks a bit out of place. So I thought, you know what? To make it not seem out of place, I'm going to put it on every single log around the room. And it worked. Um, if you're wondering how this works, so let's get inside. Oh, no, it's this side. Uh, pretty much this, these two buttons are hooked up to this block, which uh, this redstone repeater takes it out of, takes the pulse out of. And then it's hooked up to this here, which is like a really, it's a quick pulser pretty much. And the way I figure it really works in my mind is it goes through, activates the piston. And as the block goes up, so the pulse is really going to go through this block for like a split second. So this pulse is like super quick. Uh, the reason I've got this thing here set up is because from here, it's exactly 15 blocks to here, which is as far as redstone can go. Um, so I have to do this little fancy thing if I wanted them going at the same time. I can kind of show you it working, actually. If I um, mine these blocks here, you'll see how quick the pistons glitch out. I mean, it's pretty much like, as you can see, it's, it's like a bug, but it's not a bug because it's still in the game. So do that. You can see they kind of slightly glitch out. But let's just fix that quickly because uh, I don't want it being like this. I don't want anyone seeing my secret stash. Uh, so don't tell anyone about it. Shit. I've done that wrong, haven't I? Fuck it. Um, I apologise for the language. This should be PG. Is my channel PG? It's really not. There you go. It looks beautiful. Um, let's go back upstairs. Um, also, what else is new? What else is new around here? What else is new? Uh, did the portal. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, everything's beautiful with the house. Oh, I've finally finished off the... Windows upstairs which seems to be red what oh god oh dear oh this was Andrew wasn't it was this Andrew 
It bet it was, because we were playing this about a week ago, and he was like, uh, you've been pranked, he he he, and I came on, then it was the Herobrine phase, so I was like, oh, okay, Andrew was just having me back cracks, uh, little prank, but no, obviously he thought it'd be a good idea to fill my freaking room with, ah, uh, netherrack. Great, well, I'm doing this off camera, I can't be bothered to do this right now, but cheers for all the netherrack, Andrew, and, uh, actually, of course it was him, that's, the shortcut. Uh, these stairways are not safe at all. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Let me show you something. Let me show you something interesting. He went to spell his name, I think. G T. Uh. Uh. Okay, well he did. There was an X there. But look what he's done. He's he's ruined everything. Andrew, what are you doing with your life? Anyway, yeah. Uh, so pretty much all I want to do is just do like uh, just a quick cut to it being sorted out, really. Um, because I don't really want to be like there's. There's the wood chest. This is where the wood goes. This is the stone chest. This is where the, you know you get my drift. You ca you catch the drift. Um, hmm. Yeah, Herobrine now owns this area. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna cut to when it's done, really. Um. So you cow, if you seriously come here, come with me, Mr. Cow. Come on, Mr. Cow. Come on, you know you want the weed. Come on, Mr. K I give you two seconds to move. One, two. Whoa, come back. Oh, you get bowed in the bum hole. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's uh, snippity cutty to the point where the nice storage room is. Finito. Woohoo. All right, guys, so I know I said I'd cut to when I'm done, but I just thought of a really cool idea. Basically, this chest here is filled, basically, going to be my my food chest and stuff like that. And I thought maybe I could have some kind of automatic wheat farm or some kind of automatic anything, really, and have maybe hoppers feeding into all these chests. So I'm constantly being, like, refilled. Like, all these chests have been refilled. Or maybe I could have some kind of individual chest for melons or something. Because coming down here, then going back up to the farm, coming down, refilling it, going up to the farm, may get really tiring and annoying. So maybe linking these chests up to a... Uh, a farm might be a really cool idea, and I'll probably do that in a uh, episode soon. Are you tired of taking all the items out of one chest and moving it into another? Well, with Juicy Joe's tip of the day, you don't need to do that anymore. All you have to do is break one side of the chest, all the stuff comes flowing out, and you're guaranteed to pick up all the items if you have a free inventory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's so sad. She's all grown up. It's, <laughs> it's a beautiful moment. There you go. She's a big girl now. She's independent. She doesn't need to be anymore. Uh, oh God. Anyway, another news. We've done it. Whoa. We've freaking done it. And that means we can probably take down this pillar now. Because I'm pretty sure people know this is um, my la Oh, hang on. It's not my land, is it? It's Herobrine's land. Um, okay, well, that might be a slight problem. I really don't know what to do about that. I mean, if Herobrine owns the land, then how do, how do I claim the land back? Is there some kind of territory thing? Do I have to go pee on something? I mean, I can pee on anything, really. I mean, yeah. If I have to pee on it to claim my territory back, then so be it. I will pee. Oh, pee to pee for England. Hmm. I'll need to speak to uh, the, uh, the higher authorities. On how to get back uh, my land, i.e., uh, crack the beat. Who uh, put it there? Um, what? Sorry, crack the beat. Hmm? Uh, so we are done. It took longer than expected. Uh, it took me quite a while to figure out what I was gonna do and how I was gonna organise things. But I feel, oops. Uh, okay, well, ignore the whole thing that I said about. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. yeah, that happened. Uh, Herobrine did. It'll, it'll just stay there. This is so grown up, it's so cute. Um, let's go have a look. I'm going to put this bed in here, actually, temporarily. Uh, because my bedroom upstairs is actually... F bedroom upstairs? Why have I suddenly gone West Country all of a sudden? My bedroom upstairs kind of... Uh, is full of netherrack right now. But here we go. This is the... Uh, 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 storage room. So I've used item frames. Uh, let's close that for the time being. We've got my... Uh, kind of, I don't know what to call this, my green shrubbery chest thing, flowers and things, below this is food, so every type of food, I put sugar cane in there because it's kind of food, it's sugar, although you can't eat it, wool, I didn't know where to put, 
Um, I could have put it in this mob drops chest, but I don't really count it as a drop, uh, so I'll just keep it in there. I always, I always have this with storage rooms. I always have a random chest, and this is all that just ends up in it. Like nothing that. Where does all that stuff belong, really? Um, I suppose if you had a massive one where you actually had like a chest dedicated to each block, then yeah, you'd have somewhere to put it. Uh, this is kind of my put, put it. This is kind of my um, stone dirt kind of general chest. Um, I didn't realize I had this much cobble. It basically, I probably need a new chest for that. Uh, this is my everything that's to do with wood chest. This is my woody wood 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 chest, and I have a bit of cobble on me. There you go. Uh, this is a completely empty chest that I can probably use in the future for anything if I need to. Probably will end up being a cobble chest because I've got so much of it. This is my nether chest. I've got more than I thought. I've got quite a lot of stuff. Uh, almost. Whoops. Almost two lines of nether rack. Um, and here is the holy oh, chest. <laughs> the the oh, chest. Look at this. I've got so much stuff. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know where to put the ender pearl. I didn't really want to put it in the mob drop chest, uh, so I kind of kept it in here because it's the only one I've got. The potion of healing from Luke, who is online now, in fact. Um, so much redstone. I do it in two lines. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, the chest below uh, is going to be my armor chest. I've just kind of sorted it out, as you can see. And see I'm going to have categories of uh, weapons and um, tools and have them kind of going up in class so stone iron diamond I've kind of already started that this is the only armor I have obviously I don't have uh, a full armor in the chest because I wear it most of the time but you know that's a bit of fun I'm probably gonna make wooden tools and stone tools and iron tools and everything just to make it look kind of cool uh, and I've got a bit of coal as well which I am stacked on that's what helped me uh, win Abba mining round two so that was the most I've talked in the episode probably and I don't know why I'm so hyper today I just felt like you know what I'm gonna make an episode and I did it I actually the beginning of this video I um I actually what what you heard me say I actually did when I wasn't recording I thought you know what I'm gonna pretend to record see if I can be as energetic energetic as possible so I did that and it worked I I was quite energetic I'm quite proud of that uh, which usually I'm like hey guys uh, anyway uh, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this episode I hope you enjoyed it uh, I did and if you did leave a like below and comment I reply to all my comments and I will see you next time <laughs>